Let's talk about hiccups. Everybody experiences hiccups from time to time. I think most people would agree that one hiccup, sort of funny. Two hiccups in a row is really funny. And three hiccups in a row is where it starts to be concerning, in part because hiccups can be kind of painful. You can experience pain in your gut or your uh, lower abdomen, and sometimes in your chest as well. And it feels kind of intrusive. It gets in the way of having conversation or just sitting there and relaxing. Fortunately, there's a simple way to get rid of hiccups. And you can arrive at that simple technique if you understand a little bit about what gives rise to hiccups. The reason we get hiccups at all is because we experience a spasm of the phrenic nerve. The phrenic nerve, as you recall, is a nerve that emanates from the cervical region, to be specific, C3, 4, and 5. Those spinal nerves go down, of course, behind the heart and innervate the diaphragm, which is the muscle that when it contracts, it moves down and allows the lungs to fill. And then when you relax the diaphragm, then the diaphragm moves up and the lungs shrink or they expel air, so-called exhalation. Now, the phrenic nerve also has that sensory branch, so it's not just involved in controlling the diaphragm at the motor level. It's also sensing things deep within the diaphragm and in the liver as well because the liver sits right below the diaphragm. So a hiccup has that painful sensation from time to time because there's a rapid sensory feedback or a signal rather of a sharp kind of sensation of contraction within the diaphragm. And that's relayed back to the brain and you consciously perceive that as a little bit of pain. And then of course the hiccup is the, the hiccup, which is the spasming of the phrenic nerve that you experience more or less in your throat. But all this really is happening along the phrenic nerve and toward the diaphragm. What this all means is that if you can stop the phrenic nerve from spasming, you can stop hiccups. There are a lot of approaches that people have tried to take to eliminate spasming of the phrenic nerve. You'll hear that, you know, breathing into a bag, which is one way to, you know, re-ingest or re-inhale carbon dioxide that otherwise would be expelled out into the environment can help. That's a very indirect method. It rarely works, frankly, because it really has to do more with adjusting your breathing to try and adjust the activity of the phrenic nerve. It's a really roundabout way of trying to uh, alleviate hiccups. Some people will experience relief from drinking from a glass of water from the opposite side of the glass. So you sort of have to tilt over at the waist. It's a kind of messy approach. Again, it doesn't tend to work a lot of the time. For some people, it works every time, but for most people, it doesn't work at all. However, there is a technique that can reliably eliminate hiccups, and it's a technique that takes advantage of hypercontracting the phrenic nerve over a short period of time so that it then subsequently relaxes or alleviates the spasming of the phrenic nerve. And that simple method is to inhale three times in a row. This is a very unusual pattern of breathing, but what it involves is taking a big, deep inhale through your nose, then before you exhale any air, take a second inhale through the nose, however brief that inhale might be, and then a third, even micro or millisecond long inhale through your nose to get that third inhale and then hold your breath for about 15 to 20 seconds and then slowly exhale. So even though I'm not experiencing any hiccups right now, I will demonstrate the method for eliminating hiccups so that you're all clear on how to do it. Okay, here I go. Okay, so it's three inhales all through the nose. And it is true that that second and third inhale takes some physical effort to really get additional air into the lungs without exhaling first. It feels like a, the only way I can describe it really is as a sharp second and third inhale because you really have to engage the musculature of those intracostal muscles in the diaphragm in order to do it. And then that long exhale can be through the nose or the mouth, but I find it particularly relaxing or even pleasant to do it through the nose. This method of three inhales through the nose followed by a long exhale through the nose or mouth will eliminate hiccups right away because what it does is it hyper excites the phrenic nerve three times in a row, a very unnatural pattern for the phrenic nerve to fire. And then it undergoes a hyperpolarization, as we call it, in which the phrenic nerve actually stands a much lower probability of getting activated again for some period of time afterwards. So it is important that you try and return to normal cadence of breathing after doing this three inhales followed by the long exhale. If you need to perform it a second time in order to eliminate hiccups because they're simply not going away, that's fine, you can do that. But as far as we know, this is the most efficient and science-supported way to eliminate hiccups.